Hi guys, in this video we will be learning about glacial systems and processes. We will be learning about how glaciers act as natural systems, glacial budgets and finishing with an exam style question. As we learnt in the first video, a system is an assemblage of interrelated parts that work together by ways of some driving processes. In this video, we're going to look at glacial systems to understand how, when and where glaciers and ice sheets form and their effects on the landscape. This diagram is showing the open system of an ice sheet. And to recover what we know before, systems that are open include inputs, as shown here, stores, which is the mass of ice, processes, shown here as plucking, abrasion, ablation, accumulation and transportation. These are issues that we will cover later on, as well as outputs, shown here as melt, water and moraine. Snow and ice are our inputs in our glacial system and these can reach the system through snowfall or avalanches. These inputs can also be known as accumulation as noted here and this is an important word that we're going to look at in more detail. At the other end of our system, we have our outputs, shown here as meltwater and moraine, and these can be also named as ablation, as shown here. So to simplify things, we can think of accumulation as our inputs and ablation as our outputs. And through this system, our inputs are transferred down the valley under the influence of gravity, which is pulling it down the slope, and when they reach the end of the glacier, also known as the snout of the glacier, they become our outputs. So the inputs is the mass gained by the glacier, and our outputs also known as ablation, is the mass that is lost. Now that we've covered what is meant by accumulation and ablation, we are going to look at glacial bu budgets because the glacial budget is dependent on the balance between inputs and outputs. So the glacial budget can be defined as the balance Hi guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.